Wasi twenty seventeen private exams. Question five B in the diagram PS is power to QR angle PSR is equal to seventy nine degrees. Angle SPR is equal to fifty four degrees and TQ is a tangent to the circle at P. Calculate I angle TPS, II angle PQR. So this is our diagram on circle theorem. We want to calculate angle TPS. TPS. We know that in circuit theorems we need to use theorems. So this angle here and this angle here are congruent. They are equal because they are angles in alternate segment angles in alternate segment are equal so if we can find this angle then we have found this angle so how can we find this angle this angle is in the same triangle with angle 79 degrees and angle 54 degrees so if you add all of them we should get 180 Therefore, angle SRP, SRP, which is this angle, plus 54 degrees plus 79 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Angle SRP would therefore be equal to 180 minus 54 minus 79, and that would be 70, 47 degrees. Therefore, this angle is 47. So if this angle is 47, then this angle which is angle TPS is also 47 degrees. Now let's look at the II part. We are calculating angle PQR. PQR. This angle here. We know this angle here is in a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral with angles. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we add all this angle, we should get 360. Angle RSP, which is this angle, then angle SRQ, which is this angle, then angle SP, SPQ this angle and angle PQR the angle we are looking for this one should be equal to 360 when we add them but you should know that angle RSP plus angle SRQ so this angle plus this angle should be equal to 180 because they are the co-interior angles of the Power lines SP and RQ. So co interior angles, this and this, must always add up to 180 degrees. That is not the only way you can solve this question. We have other ways. You can take your time and find this angle. Then use this triangle to calculate. Take your time to find this angle, find this angle, then add it to this and this to find the missing angle. So we have different ways. You can find this angle using the angles of the sum of angles on a straight line. This and this and this. Already we know this. So we subtract this plus this from 180 to get this. And this one to subtract. You find this one first, which is 47. Then subtract it from 180. 
this and this and this it should give you 180 then you find this then you can now calculate this using the triangle PRQ but I want to go straight forward so knowing the fact that 180 is equivalent to this and this is sufficient for us to solve this question so this and this is 180 therefore this and this also give us 180 that is what we are doing now we know this angle to be 54 degrees plus 79 that is angle SPQ is 54 plus 79 how do we know that because I'm explaining I'm explaining this part I'm taking my time to explain because this angle here is an angle created by a tangent and this angle should be equal to this angle because angles in alternate segments must be equal therefore angle angle SPQ angle SPQ this whole angle here is 54 plus 79 this 79 is coming from this the alternate angles angles in alternate segment uh, that is how we got this so it's simple we just simplify this to get 133 so we solve for angle pq and that will give you 360 minus 180 minus 133 degrees and that will also give you 47 degrees then the a part of the question is this x solve x over 3 minus 1 over 4 into x plus 2 greater than 3x minus 2 whole number 1 over 5 so we first of all convert this to an improper fraction to get 11 over 5 then next we multiply through by the LCM of 3 4 and 5 which is 60 we cancel and simplify to get 20x minus 15 into x plus 2 is greater than 180x minus 132 then the next thing we do is to group like terms or expand this so 15x minus 15x minus 30 we group like terms now to get this so we simplify then we divide both sides by negative 175 and revert the inequality sign and reverse the inequality sign and that will give you x to be less than 102 over 175 if you like this video click the like button then if you share with your friends you are also helping me to continue producing more videos then if you click the subscribe button then anytime I upload similar videos you'll be able to be informed so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.